Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm back, a uh, little bit nasally still. Uh, got my voice back just about. Stopped coughing just about. Feeling better just about. <laughs> But I'm here anyway. Um, yeah, I have been diamond painting, so I've got a couple of little projects that I've been doing for Smashing the Specials to show you. Uh, yeah, we're right at the end of January now, so I'm trying to show them, oh goodness. Anyway, never mind. It's been a good event. I do like joining in events. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, um, you've probably got a day left now to uh, join Brandy and Mindy's event, Smashing the Specials. They do one twice a year and it's where you do all your little special projects and special drill diamond paintings and things. So yeah, it's all good fun. So I've got uh, a couple that I'll show you in a minute, but I've got an unboxing as well from a very special friend of mine. Um, yeah, I think he, he just wanted to cheer me up a little bit as well with my horrible cold. Um, and I was going to open it cheer myself up and then I thought no I'll show it on camera so this is from Diamond Painting with Mike the lovely Mike um, he's got a great channel go and check him out he does lots of unboxings does lots of other things beside Diamond Painting as well and uh, yeah go and check out his channel it's really worth a watch there's quite a few whip and chats and everything as well so let me just get into this Amazon parcel I don't know what it is because, uh, yeah, he was tormenting me saying he would order this card uh, and just go murmur at me because he knew that I really, really liked it. And then, bless him, he's actually ordered it for me as well. Look. So if you saw my last unboxing, um, it was the Brie Merrin Fine Art Cards. And, uh, yeah, I've discovered after I'd got the three that I bought, I think I got the Hedgehog the owl and the stag if you want to check out that unboxing it's in my amazon playlist um and then because i really really raved about this one the little ducklings in the welly boots hey uh, yeah yeah he was tormenting me saying he was going to order it and get it before me and then as i say bless him he actually ordered it for me and sent it to me as a happy mail gift so huge thank you mike it was uh, lovely of you to think of me sorry millie's with me today um, she's just trying to get comfy in her little thing. Can you not get comfy? Are you having a hard time? Is is it just not a very good day today? Oh dear. I know it's very, very wet, isn't it? It wasn't nice going out today, was it? So, yeah, we're just doing some unboxing. She's going to say hello to Mike. Say hello, look. Do you like that one as well? Yeah. Okay, so back to the little duck cab. But look at that. I just absolutely think that is so... So I just love this one at the end. It just makes me laugh so much. I'm going to try not to laugh too much in this because uh, it does make me cough. But yeah, look, we've got the two older ducklings here uh, striding along, copying mum. And then we've got the little one doing his own thing. La li la li la at the background. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. And mum's saying, come on this way, this way. And he's just going splash, splash, splash. Look, they're hardly making any splash at all walking along. And then he's doing a really big splash the end <laughs> i just love this uh, this won't be going anywhere i won't be sending this card to anybody this is definitely going in, in the frame in my craft room once i get it done so yeah it's just super so as i say huge thank you mike really cheered me up something really nice to see and uh, it will be a nice one to do as well i love like the splatters in the background so brie merrin's lovely she's uh, got some fantastic artwork i do think there's some brie merrin artwork i'm sure it must be craft buddy because these are very very much craft buddy cards i've got your standard little toolkit pen but wax and a couple of little grip seal bags and then we have our drills which are just your standard now then i think these are acrylic drills that craft buddy drills are all resin and for the price point i do think they should be resin and they may be resin um but to be honest without getting a huge electron microscope <laughs> counting the facets on the drills i don't know because uh, yeah the craft buddy ones have the extra facets on so anyway we've got like this little milky yellow and like a rusty color and a chestnutty color and a chocolate color and a couple of lemons in different colours and a beige and a lovely bright red that's for the welly boots wellington sorry we call them wellies or i call them wellies anyway uh, and then some beigey brownie colours so 
There is a lot of colours in this. What have we got? Uh, 12 different gems and colours. It's got a little bit crinkled look. It's got a bit of a curve on it, this one. It goes curves around like that. <laughs> the machine must have been a little bit hot. <laughs> oh, you can see it better that way, look. It's like a big smile. <laughs> Yeah, the machine must have been a bit hot when they were putting these uh, gems into this one and it's just melted the plastic into a little bit of a curve. <laughs> there you are, you get a bonus smile with this one. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I will put the link down below because I have got the link for this one, as I say, because uh, it is part of the set that um, I have bought. Uh, and as I say, oh, the lovely Mike. Thank you, Mike. It really is appreciated. Uh, quite a few of you have said you've got some of these. I know one lady said she's got the tiger and somebody else said they've got the giraffe and they are absolutely gorgeous. I do feel as though I'm going to have to get all of these because they are so pretty. Uh, yeah, look at that Highland. Cool. But yeah, they're just wonderful, wonderful artwork. As I say, high price point. Um, one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive cards I've got. I think Diamond Art Club, if you because you buy the packs, I think theirs worked out to around about six-ish pounds each as well. So, yeah, possibly, hmm, yeah, def yeah, they are the most expensive cards I've bought. But, I mean, they come so nicely packed as well. And you are getting an actual piece of lo lovely artwork, so. Yeah, but I didn't have to buy this one because it was a gift. For... Oh, right. OK, so let me just quickly show you some of the bits and pieces that I have been doing. Uh, so, yeah, some of well, a couple of these are old. This is really old. I don't know whether this was last year or the year before I got this. Um, it says I'm tidying up, I'm finding things now. Uh, unfortunately, it's got a little bit grubby on the edges where the glue has gone really over on this one. And then unfortunately, there's no glue there. So actually, I do need my magic glue. Just put that on while I'm talking about it and then it can be drying. And we'll get a gem put on it. So this is Craft Buddy Crystal Art Magic Glue. Oh, I always do that. It's the top bit that comes off there. Look, not the rest of it. Just check it might have got a little bit stuck. Let's see. Just get a bit of paper. Why can you never find bits of paper in a craft room? It's ridiculous. I've got so much craft paper and stuff going on. Oh, <laughs> well, I didn't need all that. Oh, good old Liz. Right, okay. <laughs> anyway. So you only need a small amount. You definitely don't need that amount. I wonder if I actually I could scrape that back in there just a second. All right, so let me just uh, give this a bit of a scrape. <laughs> I aren't wasting all that. Goodness me. So I'm just putting that back in there. And then I've just got a little bit that just wants to go on that one there. So this is great to turn a canvas or a picture into a poured glue canvas or to uh, put some stick on it. Or also just if you've missed one. You can just add that on there. So not quite the disaster that I thought it was going to be. But anyway, yeah, and it lasts a long time, this as well. A little goes a long, long way. And I certainly didn't need all that while I was doing that. <laughs> I know, you only watch my channel for, um, yeah, my mishaps, don't you? Uh, and then, to be honest, I was going to just get these out, which I think these are eyelash um, brushes. They're ultra fine. I actually got them when I was card making because they're very, very good. If you're doing very fine bits, I use silicon glue a lot or pin flare glue gel, um, which is their own. Well, it's it's a non-silicon glue that acts like silicon glue. Anyway, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Waffling. I'm using too many words when I don't really need to because, yeah, I don't want to lose my voice again. Uh, yeah, so they've just got a really, really little cloth fine tip there and they're really good for you know, just popping into the glue. And then they're just sort of diamond size just to put that little bit of glue onto something so then it becomes sticky. So, yeah, I was going to show you those and use those. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, best laid plans. And uh, Liz, being Liz, decided to just squirt out the biggest blob possible that would probably do half a canvas. And uh, anyway, we've rescued that situation, so not too bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so yeah, um, this was really cute to do. Uh, I do like the colours. It's got hot pink on it as well. So, and uh, yeah, it's actually a pencil case, and I liked it because it's like a hard-bodied pencil case. 
I mean, it's still squishy and softish, but uh, it protects things. Uh, oh, that's my gems that I've got left there. And it's got the little net in there. I've got an unboxing on this one somewhere. A little yeah. holder there for pens or whatever. And it will hold quite a bit. So I thought, right, I'm going to get this one done. As I say, because I've left it so long, I have got sticky on the edges that has got bits of dust. I mean, the, could, the uh, dust cover was on it. You know, the top cover was on it. But yeah, because there is so much glue, um, it has just caught there. So I'm going to have to get that off. What I will probably do is seal it and then use my glue gun after I've sealed it so that I'm not then taking any of the glue from under the gems and having to re-stick. Right, that is just about uh, there now. So, which pen's got gel in it? Has that one got some gel in it? I think it has. So I just want one of the blue gems just to pop on here. It's like a grey blue, what's that one? Okay, there was no crystal codes, unfortunately, so these will just all go in generic. But I have now got my new crystal code, so let me just grab one of those in the plastic bag and just stick that back down. Oh, it's still a little bit wet, but that will now stick there. Okay, have I got that upside down? Let me just have a look. No, I haven't. I have actually got it the right way around. That's brilliant. So that will just dry. That will just st stay there now because the glue that I've put on does act as like your um, poured glue. So it is still sticky around the edges, but the gem will stay on it as any normal poured glue. But as I say, this will need sealing uh, because, yeah, it's uh, got a bit grubby around the edges. And I am going to be using it as a pencil case. But look at the eyelashes on there. Aren't you just, uh, actually, that's really funny talking about the eyelash um, applicators. And then these deers have got great big eyelashes. <laughs> You'd think I'd planned it. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't plan anything these days because everything just goes to pot. <laughs> oh dear. Right, sniff and a cough and let's carry on with the next one. Put my little pen back over there. Right, I'll show you this one. Uh, this is from Timu. This was, uh, I think, one of my first Timu, if not the first Timu purchase uh, pack that I made. So, yeah, this is a lovely hairbrush with a mirror in the handle, which is quite handy. I've not seen anything like that before. Uh, it's a nice soft brush. You did get all the little bristles that you had to put in yourself. Um, so I, I sat and did that. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the quickest diamond paintings I've ever done. Um, you know, you've only got the gems on the owl there, look, just a little bit on the moon, just a little bit on the twig and then just down the handle. But I mean, it's very, very pretty and it's practical as well. And it just all then clips together, which I've clipped it all back together. I'm not going to seal this one um, because it is all enclosed. So, ugh. Do you know, my mirror function now on my uh, iPad has just now gone off. Um, I sort of like, I have like a mirror function so that what I on my phone shows on my iPad, which is how I sort of like try and look at what I'm doing. I forget and then it ends up all over the place. But anyway, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's now just gone off. So do you know, right, what's the third thing going to be? I don't know. Somebody's going to come to the door, aren't they, or something? Yeah, it's all conspiring against me. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I mean, you get your instructions on the back and we just got the few gems, but look, we did get an AB in lemon. So that one will go into my AB, Aurora Borealis gems, which are iridescent coated gems. So yeah, I just thought that was quite nice. Nice as a little present. I mean, if you've got somebody that's uh, a crafter and you don't know what to get them, you know, even if they've not tried diamond painting, I mean, it's quick and easy to do. Uh, the hardest bit, the thing that took the longest was putting all these in. <laughs> And me being me, I did actually put one because there was like this one odd um, point that was out and I just thought, oh, well, maybe that's just the way they've designed it. And then, of course, putting it together, you realise that actually um, the point there, the bristle there, didn't want to be in because that's where the thing clips together. So I then had to uh, surgically remove it. <laughs> Oh dear, so they're just generic gems again, no codes on any of these, no DMC codes. But yeah, I now have a pencil case and a hairbrush, yay! I don't know what I'm going to do with these, I suppose that's quite handy really. I mean, this doesn't stick together, it does just all clip together, so you can take it apart again. 
uh, and I suppose if you know these bristles do sometimes break and if you're using it with a hairdryer sometimes they do melt or the little bobbles come off the end or whatever uh, so I've got a few spares so, mm, yeah I'm gonna keep those you know what I'm like crafter don't throw anything away <laughs> And then uh, finally, I have done a few other paintings and things as well, but, but I just thought I'd show you these. These are ones I've been working on in the last couple of days. So these are my Howells to it to woo tree, which has come out absolutely gorgeous. Now it's still got the cover on because um, I've decided my video on putting on the little teeny tiny teardrops I'm going to use this little owl canvas for because I'm probably getting quite close on it because they are all quite close together so I've got one two three four five six little patches of them to put on but don't you think those owls have come out really well I mean they're all crystal and they've all got the eyes have just got one um, little black acrylic gem on them and i just think that's so pretty and uh, yeah the whole of the base was actually diamond painted as well on this one so a nice bright green just to offset it all i'm not going to push it in but look you can see the contrast of the green then with the brown it just really offsets it all and now i've just put my finger in the sticky girl is having a fun day <laughs> but yeah i just think oh look at mummy and baby up there I think that's my favourite. I think he's come out the best. He looks the most wide awake. Um, he looks as though he's just woken up. He's just saying, well, hey, look at me. They're having a snuggle. That one looks really tired as well. The way they've got the gems underneath the eyes, it just looks like he's got really big bags under his eyes. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think he's my favourite one down there. So, But yeah, that video will be coming up. Um it was planned and as I say then I've had to have a few days off filming because of my cold and losing my voice and generally feeling rotten but I'm not going to moan um, so yeah I will be doing that video on how I put these little gems on so keep watching and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss it and uh, yeah I will get that done and we'll just finish this one off so I've got all the gems here there wasn't like a list or an inventory or anything with this but I did notice that the code numbers are on the bags so I've kept the bag on each one as I've gone through I've just cut the little name part the little bit with the writing on and put it in each gem so when I kick this one down after we've done these gems then I can actually put them away in crystal order yes so yeah that one was from team you team you <laughs> because I'm looking at owls, birds, emus. No, yeah, that's just how my brain works. Oh dear. Right, so I will put that one back away in there for now. So yeah, just a quick little video just to say what I've been up to um, to unbox my beautiful card from Mike, which is absolutely wonderful. And uh, yeah, let you know what's coming up next and just dipping my toe back in to make sure that I can actually uh, still make videos. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. As always, if you have, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'd love you to join our little family and uh, subscribe and see what we get up to next. So if you press that subscribe button down in this far corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up, so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.